Hey guys, Alaji Atiku Abubaka, the PDP official competitor, express through his media helper, Polly Bay, that endeavors to in integrate Alaji Atiku Abubaka with a funny issue. Ah, endeavors to limit late cases of fraud. He consented that Atiku Abubaka's considerations in the funny discussion should be seen for what it is a strategy to minimize the charges of falsifications. As per him, the news disclosure of President Bola Metinubu related to reports at the Chicago State College and Court requested affidavits in the U.S. at just the start of the disclosures. He expressed that he expressed this in a, a press explanation reviewed by Punch Paper. It is on record that the, different, the difference in name of the previous vice president returning to Atiku Abubakar from Sadiq Abubakar is legitimate in an oath dated August 18, 1974, traversing north of 50 years and is in the public space. The, dis the disclosure of Tinubu's records of Chicago State and the court requested affidavit in the U.S. adjusts a, a close purpose of something larger, the endeavor to drag Atiku Abubaka into the field of imitation should be perceived the truth about an endeavor to limit the charge of fraud. <laughs> Well, Nigerians can now understand what our politicians are made up. It's just like somebody say you be thief. You say, yes, I be thief. But you yourself, they thief too. I know I thief, but you thief. <laughs> but the question here is, did you thief? That is the question. These people continue to drag Nigeria in the mud. They just they disgrace this country. Nigeria is supposed to be the giant of Africa. But today we are no one we are nowhere to be found because of bad leaders who only have their own interests. They don't consider the, the image of the country, they don't consider the welfare of the citizen in this country. You can imagine you forge certificates. Now you are not looking for every other person to drag. Peter B has been dragged into this certificate forgery. Atiku Abubaka has been dragged as well into the certificate for forgery. Nigerians, when are we going to get out from this mess? This issue of these politicians, you know, our leaders not being trustworthy is a thing of a concern. That is the truth. This is a thing of a concern. You just want to have your way because you feel that nobody can do anything. You can intimidate anybody to get your, your way through. This is wrong. This is really very wrong. Now, talking about President Bola Metinubu, uh, Chicago State, uh, fake Chicago State certificate and all that. What does the Supreme Court stand on this? Because as a country, we have a constitution that guides all these things. And when you do all these things, what happens to you? Anybody that forged certificates, Nigerian constitution, have to be, you know, uh, disqualified. But here in this country, once you are in a ruling party, your sins are covered. Adam Sushomale said it one time. Nigeria have become a laughing stock before the international communities. If American media, the European Union politicians, are now calling our president names, what is left for Nigeria as a country? If they are now referring a, a particular name to our president, a president of Nigeria, what is left for this country? Nothing. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. This matter is a serious case. So. It's not what someone, somebody, I beg, make gonna forget. You know the matter. Sometimes this matters matters a lot. 
all these matters you are saying, it matters a lot. We are talking about the country's image, not about an individual of a thing. This case don't pass an individual matter. You get. So that is the reason why justice has to be done to this case. Let's know those who are the real criminals. Nigerians want to know what is going on. Common man cannot out there say he won't go for certificate, he won't work for any ministry. And I know what will happen to Ram if the person is caught. So is this one different? Now, this one they call, is this one say you be thief? And I know say I be thief, but now you be the bigger thief. <laughs> this is funny. Are they thief with a thief? This is really funny. They are now dragging each other. You understand? President Muhammad Buhari has been called, uh, please pardon me, Tinubu has been called to, you know, say something about this Chicago State University certificate. At least deny it or even accept it. Is it fake or not? Not be all these ones when we they talk. They don't they drag another person. Atiku Abubaka also false certificates and all that. This and this and that. He should come out and deny it publicly. Because the Chicago State University is still insisting that the certificate that was you know, submitted by Nigerian president to Nigerian's electoral body did not emanate from them. So what can we now call that? So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you.